I think networking in a, in a meaningful way can sometimes be driven by the theme of the conference uh, versus a, a transactional theme like, you know, uh, uh, convert sales into dollars or what have you, but um, relationships into partnerships. And, um, and maybe for each break, don't necessarily call it a networking break, give it a theme. Give it something that, 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 that sparks conversation in a meaningful way, not just about the weather um, or what food is being served or the lack of food or the temperature in the ball or whatever it may be, but to really create meaningful breaks, not just 20 minutes as in a comfort break and quick run to the loo and come back, uh, but really 30 minutes, 40 minutes, give people a moment to actually have a conversation, not a quick hello and goodbye. So I think by both creating a larger time frame, almost as if it's a breakout session, because I believe it can be as meaningful, and giving it a great bit of theming in an atmosphere that's conducive. Uh, it's amazing. You know, you can't have a networking break and loud music in the background. Nobody can hear each other. Um, you make it go, you make people um, leave maybe the convention area or the ballrooms in which it's happening and go clear across a, a, a hotel or venue and then race back. So by thinking as the event planner uh, to create a conducive atmosphere, those are things you can take into account. Now thinking as the attendee, the guest, before you even arrive the conference, see who's on the guest list. And, and if you don't have a guest list, I mean, you can always ask when you RSVP, can you tell me a few other names that are coming? Or what companies are sponsoring? You can take a moment, I call it the power of research. Look them up online. LinkedIn is professional, of course. Uh, Facebook, you can see their interests, what they're passionate about, see what they're tweeting about that's happening in the news that they seem to be aware of or interested in. And of course, Google the stock prices because you don't want to bring up how a company's doing. It's not doing that well. Um, but you can create that connection before you arrive. That's going to turn into a conversation. So a connection equals a conversation. You can organically build that. If you just take some time before you arrive and, and check it out. That's just one tip for the guest, one tip for the planner. And when it comes to being present, I love technology. It, uh, it saves lives. It connects us. It allows us to do our job more efficiently. Um, but I think just as technology brings with it a responsibility, we have a responsibility to the present, um, to be in conversation, to listen to one another, not just live tweet it or do a live feed, but actually have a live conversation. I, I, I'm, I really, I, I see the value in tweeting about a conference, getting it out on a hashtag on Instagram to get the message out. I also see the value of, of checking a phone at the door. And then at the end of the day, give your thoughts on what it was like and how it felt. Record a video and put that out there. The most interesting events that we seem to be watching, especially in the media, uh, Oprah Winfrey's parties. She doesn't allow them to be photographed, not many of them. Uh, remember uh, Brangelina's wedding, Brad and Angelina. I mean, now they're not even a thing. But nobody could take any pictures or have their cell phones. The Kardashians. No, you know, so the most exclusive events, honestly, ask you to check your phones. And I think it creates a great sense of not just that this is very exclusive, but it, it speaks to the guest about how inclusive it is. I mean, here we are at the business of events, Powering Growth, put on by exhibition and trade fairs in Sydney. Now, we've got to hashtag all of that. This is the inaugural conference. There's about like 150 people here. They're all leaders of the industry. They're listening to other peers and leaders. It's so dynamic, so incredible, so exclusive. I wouldn't mind if there was no hashtag because what's happening in this room, in the general sessions, the conversation that's happening in between, yeah, you're looking at people that are at the top of their game and setting it up for everybody else. This is where you wanna be.